Okay, so with obviously 2021 coming and online registration slash um, applying for jobs being the norm, having being, I've got Mason here, who is a recruiter, who's going to give some advice for students who are looking for jobs and things to look for. Obviously, the traditional way we used to do jobs is you go in, you might have an interview, you might have a call. Now, some some jobs do pre-recorded, some jobs you just send in your CV and you reply. I'll let the professional <laughs> give his uh, advice and input. So could you tell us your name, uh, where you were doing recruiting and your university with your course? Sure, yeah, my name is Mason. I study business at Bournemouth University. Um, I've worked sort of in, in recruitment in a variety of different businesses um, and I've also helped second year students with sort of placement applications as well. Um, what I would say at the moment in terms of applying to jobs, what to do and what not to do, is just to take care in every application that you make. I mean, recruiters have got a huge volume of applications at the moment. It really is competitive. So just try to stand out where you can. Um, so personalise things as much as possible um, and find new avenues to reach out. LinkedIn is a really good resource just to um, you know, get noticed by people. So pitch you and pitch your value that you can add to a business. Um, in terms of sort of video interviews, it can be challenging and they can be a little bit different for people and they're harder to sort of grasp when you've got to pitch an answer to a screen. Uh, so practice is really important and to get feedback from other people. If a student didn't have much in their CV, what can they do to have the advantage over someone else who does have things in their CV? Sure, yeah. You've got to be quite bold in applying for jobs. Um, if you're writing a cover letter, don't just go in with like a, a standardised approach. Just say a, a bold statement and try to back it up. If you don't have a lot on your CV, try to get something on it. Um, do some volunteering, get some extra curricular activities, start something yourself. You don't, it doesn't need to be that successful. It doesn't need to be the best thing in the world, but if you, if you show intent and you show potential, um, that value can be seen by, by the person that is, is potentially recruiting you. In your opinion, what are the best things you've seen in a CV that catches an employer's eye? Mm, sure. Um, CV should be simple, but sharp. There shouldn't be too much text. Just try to get across like, your value as much as possible. A CV is a, is a sales tool. It should pique the interest of the person reading it. So say things in a different way. So say things that are a little bit bold, but not, not touching arrogant or cocky. Um, and that will catch your eyes. As, as a recruiter, you'd be reading hundreds of CVs a day. So try to think of what story you can tell that would be different to the other couple hundred people that have also applied for the same role. Lastly, how can students use university to enhance their CV? Sure, I mean, all you, I can only speak for Bournemouth, but um, all the universities have a lot of opportunities available, a lot of extracurricular courses, um, you know, learning sessions, opportunities. So just try and use those as much as possible. If you're not sure where to start, go speak to someone. Uh, the, every university has a careers team that are, are trying to make you more employable, trying to add skills to you. So grasp those opportunities, use them and, and learn from them. Okay, thank you.